I guess this is the formal edition for to hear her voice. And I honestly don't know if this piece is going to get done or not. I was shocked and probed. Well, I was tested on September 7th. Doctor told me I have damage to my ulnar nerve somewhere around the elbow. And he pointed out all the muscle atrophy I had in my left hand. I never realized how less meaty than my right hand it is. No wonder I can't plug a charger into my phone with my left hand. I have a video appointment in a few minutes. The orthodox shall give me all the good news I need. Well, there it is. Today is the 13th and I'm scheduled for cubital and carpal tunnel surgeries on the 19th. I'm not waiting around. I'm going to finish this piece. I know it's wrecking me, but what else can I do? I, I can't not write. I can't not do this with the possibility of not being able to do this in the very near future. I know I'm probably worrying for no reason, and I really should wait to compile all this information when I'm not in the middle of it as it's happening. I feel, I feel so distracted, scatterbrained, <laughs> no direction, I don't know. Everything is done, all is well. It's December 1st, and this should be the beginning. To hear her voice is a piece that has always been with me. And what I mean when I say that is, you write music, you try to get it sounding as good as you can, and you move on. A year later, you try to play it, and it's like trying to learn a foreign language. <laughs> now, I should say, this is how it is with me. I pretty much have the retention power of a tree rat, so... It's like that with TV shows, movies, and music. I can't read music to save my life. I can write it. I can tell you if it's legible or if it looks right. But to sit down and play, it would take me an hour just to learn a measure. And that would be my own music. Uh, my brain my brain would be on fire trying to do it. To hear her voice, for the most part, I've not forgotten since I wrote it in 2001. So to work it up, chunk by chunk was pretty easy. Well, easy mentally knowing the music, painfully difficult physically playing it. But I got through it. As much as I hate to think about it, there was no way I could begin to play this all the way through. I had to record it in three sections. And hopefully it doesn't sound like that, but, well, it doesn't. But I know it in my head that it wasn't played in full, and it bothers me. To hear her voice, or Capriccio in A-flat for piano, has to be one of my all-time favorite pieces. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing it. Thanks.